What is going on guys, we are back with some more Dragon Ball Z Dokken Battle videos and we have some exclusive footage of a 100% Tech Vegeta Blue just newly released on Global. So guys, hope you enjoy the video, hope you enjoy the footage and I'm going to talk about the card while the gameplay is playing. If you summon on the banner and if you were able to pull the mine, let me know how many copies, let me know how many stones, let me know down below how deep you had to go into the mine to get a copy of him because uh, he's a pretty good card but I mean he does have his pros and cons like every other card. I feel like he has more cons than pros, honestly. I mean, it's, I, it depends how you look at it, honestly. But anyways, talking about the card, leader ability, three key, 120% stats for super typings, but you have to have a character of each type being AGL, tech, intelligence, STR, and physical. If you're missing one in typing, then leader ability will not activate. So you have to remember that fact, very important there. Uh, immense damage and raises attack and defense infinitely. I love that. I love the infinite attack and defense raising because it does complement his passive because the passive can have him launch up to two additional super attacks so if he does happen to get like three attacks or four attacks in a row then that's four additional attack and defense increases so he'll tank better faster and he'll hit harder faster as well so cool stuff there uh he gets up to 150 percent attack but like you have to get, you have to. He has to attack like multiple times to get his 150% attack because he gets 15% attack per each attack he performs. So quite a bit of attacks have to be a comp or achieve, I should say, for him to get the 150. But if he gets the 150 and launches like three attacks, and you're gonna one shot any boss in the game, like pretty much one shot any boss because that's a lot of attack. And of course, raising attack from super attack, he's gonna hit very freaking hard. Now Linkson is where he kind of falls back a little bit. Uh, no prepared for battle, which does suck, but he does have over and flash. He does have fused fighters. So those are very two good links. Uh, he's going to be on a, what is it? A fusion category. So fusion has a lot of over and flash. Like, you know, for example, Gogeta, uh, the intelligence one also super saiyan four Gogeta. Uh, you have super saiyan three go tanks. You have like units like, um, another fused character. Uh, okay. Well, I guess, yeah, there's not a lot of over flash there, but, uh, there's teams you can run. And a lot of units are heroes. How this link once again, Gogeta. Uh, you can maybe bring like a you know Super Saiyan three STR Vegeta because he's just you know he has over in flash. You can build a team to where it's not an issue to have the link, but you would have to neglect some units like Super Saiyan four Goku, Super Saiyan four Vegeta to accommodate other units just because of that one link, which actually does suck because your overall damage on the team will be uh, reduced because each unit is not pulling their own weight in terms of damage output. So that does kind of suck with him not having prepared for battle, but uh, whatever. He does pick up Warrior Gods, so I guess Super Saiyan Blue Kyle Ken is a pretty good linking partner for him because Kyle Ken Goku, Super Saiyan Blue Kyle Ken Goku that is, has Super Saiyan Kamehameha, uh, Warrior Gods, Over in a Flash, and Fierce Battle. So this mine has like what? Five links that Vegeta Blue has, so they're pretty good linking partners. But the thing about that is that Kyle Ken Goku himself, he is not really hard hitter because he has that flat passive. So, it's still a situation where you're sacrificing a slot for a character who can hit very, very hard for a lesser character just for links. So, it depends if you want to do that or not. Uh, I mean, it might be a good thing if your uh, Vegeta is like Rainbow or has like a two dupes or something to where he can get crits and something like that. So, it depends on what your Vegeta, uh, Vegeta Blue looks like. But for the most part, I mean, you're going to have to sacrifice characters to accommodate others to like link with Vegeta and everything, which does suck. Now, you could run him on a... Super Saiyan 3 Goku, the LR1, the LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, who provides 4 key as leader ability. Uh, obviously, he's not available on Global. When he is available on Global, they can run him as leader, uh, which gives this guy 4 key. So, he'll super attack easier in that, in that situation. Um, additional to that, you can run like a support unit. Like, there's support units in the game who gives like 3 key as a passive, like 2 key as a passive. So, you can work around bad links, depending on units you uh, put in the team, right? Um, his attack and defense on his super attack is actually 20% increase. So every time he super that 20% attack and defense, which over time stacks up to quite a bit, uh, it will, um, it will actually, you like, you'll be able to see the difference after like, I want to say what, like, you know, three or four super attacks, he'll be hitting like another million. Uh, it'll keep increasing over time. Right. So, uh, yeah, so he's a very, very hard hitter, but obviously he can't defend well. He really can't defend well at all, honestly, because... He does get a defense increase in his super attack, but you need several super attacks for him to tank very well. So before that, he really can't take a hit. 
Like, he'll get hit very hard. And if you don't have orbs in him for him to have naturally high defense, then you'll see the amount of damage you're taking compared to him getting super tax off. But overall, pretty good unit. I do enjoy the card. He's quite fun. I do prefer the LR a bit more, honestly, because, I mean, he does everything uh, quite nice. He's self-sufficient with key. He uh, hits hard. He defends quite well. Um, he does everything. He has prepared for battle. So I do prefer the LR a bit more just for just, just for being an overall well-rounded unit. Uh, this guy is mainly just a hard hitter, which is still pretty cool. I mean, yeah. But I'd rather a unit that can do uh, many things well than just one thing very well. So it's kind of my opinion, guys. Anyway, so enjoy the video. Very quick video. If gameplay is still playing, then enjoy that, you know, like, what, three minutes left or whatever. Uh, like, share, comment down below, guys. If you're not subscribed, make it a thing. Sub to the boy. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.